I wasn't kidding when I said Celestial was an issue. This build that I'm going to show is a Celestial Pistol Pistol Daredevil build. And a lot of people have been wanting a Pistol Pistol beef build for a while because it's a simple and fun playstyle. But the issue with it is that just spamming unload doesn't really do much other than give you range damage. It doesn't give you any real self peel or mobility. However, with this build, you utilize the bound dodge, which is a leap finisher in the black powder. And then while you're in stealth, you use the cloaked and shadow trait to gain combo finisher projectiles with the sneak attack. And it's not necessarily the same as just unloading because you, you know, you're pressing different buttons, but it's essentially the same playstyle. You know, you have this ranged burst, but it has a lot more utility, a lot more sustain to it. So it's a lot more viable. And with the Celestial build, you're probably thinking, wait, how does Celestial help out Thief? Well, turns out that pretty much every class can get use out of Celestial stats if you understand how to theorycraft correctly. Because with this build, which I am using full Celestial and Aristocracy runes, you can actually get quite a bit of might. So how it works is Daredevils have the weakening strikes trait that whenever you dodge your next attack will deal a weakening strike which is going to give out weakness and that will essentially give you five might but because of how the sneak attack works on the pistol it will give you the weakness on the first hit right because the combo is usually you press black powder and then you dodge through it and then you use your sneak attack so you're dodging and then doing the sneak attack and because the pistol sneak attack is five hits the first hit will give the weakness to give the might from the aristocracy rune and then the subsequent four hits will gain the value of having five might and then the bleeds that you give will also give that might so essentially the synergy of the build is very good with the playstyle of the build it's not like i'm doing something that it doesn't really make sense just to get synergy it flows very well with the build so on the Pistol Pistol, I am using Ruthlessness and Draining because you do actually want to be using Headshot quite a lot on this build. So whenever you interrupt someone, you will gain 5 stacks of Might for 10 seconds, which is affected by Boon Duration. So you've got a lot of Might from just interrupting enemies. And then Draining is going to give you 1000 damage and healing whenever you interrupt on a 3 second ICD. So yeah there's a lot of might on this build if you're constantly dodging and getting the aristocracy proc you're interrupting so yeah i've actually gotten 25 might as well and then of course unload if you do use that sometimes it's not the best it can give you might over time as well and then on the short bow you're going to just take energy cleansing so there are some decisions you can make with the traits here so i choose shadows embrace for the extra condition cleanse so I basically go for like maximum condition cleanse because then I just don't have to worry about condies at all. And this is more of like a sustained build. And then Hidden Thief is another option if you want a little bit more stealth up time. But I feel that generally you're going to be okay with the amount of stealth you have. And the way that you're using steel is to interrupt anyways, not to gain stealth a lot of times. So you'll be revealed and you won't get the, the stealth anyways but it does reduce the deceptions cooldown so shadow return and smoke screen can be useful but i prefer shadows embrace and then obviously leeching venoms is going to be super good for the poison up time and then there is in trickery obviously you want thrill of the crime because there's no real movement speed other than when you're in stealth you'll have meld with shadows so when you're out of stealth it's kind of nice to have thrill of the crime for the swiftness but also the fury is nice because this is a hybrid build so yeah, Thrill of the Crime is really good. You've also got Trickster. So you can choose between Trickster or Bountiful Theft. Bountiful Theft is for like interrupting enemies who have stability usually. And the Vigor Uptime is really good too because you have Boon Duration. So you'll get more dodges by using Bountiful Theft. But you have to remember that essentially Trickster is going to give you the same effect because your withdraw and your roll for initiative are dodges and even dagger storm is considered an evade so you're going to get more of that which is essentially more dodges and more healing and more initiative which can 
amount to a lot of other things and then the trickster gives you a lot of condition cleanse as well so it really just depends on the situation when you're in like a group setting bountiful theft is probably better and then when you're solo trickster is probably better and then you have a choice between deadly ambush which is just going to be more bleeding damage when you steal and stuff like that but I feel that the interrupt on sleight of hand is super important because it helps you to secure kills by interrupting heals and of course because interrupts can do damage with draining and ruthless uh, sigils so I prefer sleight of hand and then in daredevil you just have escape his fortitude for more cleansing you have havoc specialist because this is going to give you a little bit more power damage pulmonary impact has just been way too nerfed it can't even crit and the base damage is like 300 so i mean compare that to the draining sigil it's not even close so i just prefer the raw damage increase and of course the bound dodge is really important because of the leap finisher that allows you to gain stealth with your smoke fields and it'll give you a little bit more power damage because celestial is going to get a lot of might and it has some decent power stats so the general combo that i was talking about is black powder you're going to dodge backwards so that you can use your pistol sneak attack through the smoke field and you can see there how much lifesteal i get from it it's quite a bit of damage there's a lot of numbers there you can't see all the numbers because there's so many hitting but yeah it's a lot of damage over time it does a decent power burst and it also does decent condition damage and you're healing a lot off of it so it's pretty much your entire build just revolves around five dodge one and yeah there's obviously going to be a lot of situations where you can't do that but that's going to be your bread and butter and because that is the bread and butter it's a really easy to play thief build it's going to be very accessible for a lot of players so what else can you do on this build so what you can do is if say you're revealed and you can't go into stealth for whatever reason you can use your unload through the the blind field and it has a 20 percent chance but it'll give you might for later on which is going to be good you also want to be abusing headshot a lot because headshot is a hundred percent uh combo finisher so a lot of times you'll do your one skill and while you're revealed you'll just spam headshot and that'll do a little bit more blind because it's hitting that projectile finisher through the blind field and it'll also daze which will interrupt prevent people from resustaining and give you more might which is going to increase the condition damage that you've already applied so headshot is really important to this build um and then you have your short bow so short bow is pretty good with the cluster bomb it does a decent amount of damage especially when you have the uh, aristocracy proccing on it and you'll give weakness there the weakness duration is really long because of the uh, condition duration from your celestial stats right so yeah your your short bow can also give weakness if you do the four skill into the two skill and that'll give you you know your aristocracy proc there and then you'll gain even more might so yeah pretty much the short bow is a good weapon too in certain situations and your auto attack as i said if you get the stealth on it will be able to put poison and then if you auto attack when they have poison on them you'll give out bleed so it's pretty good with the smoke screen because that allows you to get stealth or if you're in a situation where you're in your uh, like pistol set and then you don't have enough dodges what you can do is you can use your black powder and then swap into your short bow and that'll give you an extra dodge which will allow you to resustain and get the stealth that you need to just escape so the short bow is really important to the build still now obviously you have the pretty standard utilities on thief if you have the bound dodge you really want to use withdraw because you don't have a lot of access to immobilize removal because you're not using dash so it's really good that you have withdraw and trickster as well as the roll for initiative it's going to help you to escape a lot of situations where people are trying to lock you down and then the smoke screen is really strong at preventing projectiles from hitting you what you can do is just put down the smoke field and you can stomp people in it because it's constantly pulsing blind it's just such a strong and potentially overpowered utility i honestly think it shouldn't pulse uh one every second it should be once every two seconds but yeah and there's also dagger storm giving you a rural finisher so if i put down like for example if i'm really low 
and I put down black powder and I use Dagger Storm through it, it's going to give out tons of these um, these whirl finishers, which is going to give out blind, which is going to heal you a lot. There's a lot of situations where I just get like a full heal if there's a lot of enemies attacking me and I just put down like smoke screen and Dagger Storm, I'll like full heal off that. So it's a really powerful synergy here with this build. So the role of the build is not really for securing kills and plus oneing. It's more of a troll build. You want to be trying to survive, looking for a situation where you can get a kill by splitting enemies and just annoying them, really. So here I am in like a, what is this, like a 1v3. I'm pretty pressured, but I'm constantly able to go into stealth with my black powders and even swap into shortbow there for the extra dodge for a little bit more stealth. And I'm blasting some more stealth with the smoke screen just because I was so heavily pressured there and trying to escape. And trying to steal through the wall here just so I can keep constantly pressuring them, keeping them in combat, keeping them trying to come at me. But as you can see there, the burst is actually pretty heavy on the, you know, the sneak attack there. And I'm going to go for the shadow step stomp here, which is going to go through but I've used a lot of cooldowns, so I'm kiting into the frogs. And at this point, I think there's a renegade on me. Yeah, and maybe I think a necro. So uh, those are pretty dangerous classes. I get immobilized by one of the frogs, so it's really dangerous. But I have my smoke screen down, which is going to help me out. And I'm going to get stealth here finally. I reveal myself, but I have a lot of cooldowns back now. I interrupt the Renegade's heal with my headshot there, which is super important. And now I'm going to probably try to interrupt their heal again if I can. Or yeah, the Necro is coming now, so I'm trying to get a little bit of a better positioning. I dodge with the stealth and that will blind as well. I get another good interrupt and I'm just constantly keeping my distance while trying to pressure every time I'm about to leave stealth. I just use my sneak attack and then I try to blind in between, interrupt in between, and then go back into stealth. So you're just constantly going through that rotation of stealth, sneak attack, interrupt, slash blind, and then go back into stealth. And eventually, you know, you whittle down your enemies and you get the stomp there. And now the, the necros by themselves and they're just going to be a free kill there. Now this next situation is a little bit of a 1v1 or 1v2, I have a Sikkim Soul Beast on me and a Core Guardian. Now, the Sikkim Soul Beast is kind of dangerous to deal with, but the smoke screen allows me to handle that because of the projectile block. And here I am in a lot of trouble because of the ring there, so I have to go into stealth. They don't have Sikkim anymore, so I'm able to use stealth. And I'm going to reset. I swap into Sharpbow there for the extra blast on my Black Powder and this is going to give me a lot of reset potential so i get the immobilize on the shortbow there which is really good because with the increased condition duration it's a really long immobilize i've just got so much weakness and you know might that they're just slowly getting killed like unless they're playing a high sustained build they're not going to really be able to handle me so it's kind of like the, the thing that counters this build is heavy damage but also at the same time, they're gonna need sustain to survive me. And as you can see there, I just healed to essentially full by just using Dagger Storm in like two blind uh, fields. So that is a pretty insane sustain there. But if you like this kind of content, then subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Do you think this is the worst thief build to ever exist? Or is it maybe just a useless thief build because it's only good at trolling let me know in the comments below and check out the links in the description because there are other celestial or non-celestial builds that you can check out and i will see you all next time